I do I sign in the ministry of Reverend Anthony Diaz Moore. Oh, yes. To the first lady of this church, to the deacon and people. Real, and real. Yes. real. Minister wise and all God's children. Just a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Mm -hmm. yes. We're not going to hold you long. But there is a word from the Lord. I thought about doing one of the scriptures that Deacon Glenn read. Matthew chapter 6, 31 through 34. We're going to stay in that book, but God led us to another passage. If you don't mind, turn to Matthew chapter 5. Oh, Matthew chapter 5. We're going to look at it. Two verses. Matthew chapter five. We want to look at verses ten through twelve. Matthew chapter five, verses ten through twelve. And in my Bible it reads, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. It said, Blessed are they when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. All right. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You may be seated. Mm -hmm. Just for a few moments, if you don't mind, we want to use that as a subject we shall overcome. We shall. Overcome. Mm -hmm. On March 7, 1965, a group of determined, devoted, and dedicated to the cause people led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched from Selma to Montgomery. Mm -hmm. And what started off as a peaceful protest, yeah. but later became known as Bloody Sunday. Mm -hmm. We can see them now as they marched down the streets, holding hands and singing a song. Mm -hmm. We shall overcome. Yeah, yeah. As they got ready to march to Montgomery, before they could cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge, mm -hmm. chaos erupted. Mm -hmm. Police officers, state troopers, Beat them, yeah. whoop them, yeah. kick them, yeah. punch them, yeah. mm -hmm. and brutally victimize mm -hmm. the marchers. Uh -huh. Marchers was marching in peace, All right, Greg. love, and demanding fair play. Mm -hmm. All right. My heart began to hurt. Yeah. yeah. And anger came upon me uh -huh. as I sat and watched the footage oh, yeah. of how they mistreated our people. Uh -huh. All right, Rev. But then a calm came about. Mm 
Yeah. Because I realized it was a group of people mm -hmm. that hated my Jesus. Uh-huh. And one Friday they marched him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Uh-huh. Right? They beat him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They kicked him. Uh-huh. They pulled half from his head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They spat upon him. Uh-huh. Yeah. And later they hung him on a cross uh -huh. and crucified him. Yeah. But three days later, Bible said that he rose mm -hmm. from the dead. Uh -huh. And now the song we shall overcome has a greater meaning. Yeah, yeah. Because I realized if Jesus was able to overcome, that one day if we stay close to God, yeah. we shall overcome All as right, well. Rev. All right. I believe Jesus saw the plight of the black man as he began to preach up on top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I believe he saw that we was going to need a savior. Uh -huh. That we were going to need some encouragement mm -hmm. in order to cross this bridge. All right. Yeah. Yes, we were persecuted. Uh -huh. And I believe Jesus understood well we was coming from. Uh -huh. He understood that we was desperate and depressed. And he preached to us from on top of the mountain. And as he began to preach, he talked about persecution. Yeah. I believe we as a black people can understand persecution. Yeah. Somebody ought to say man here today. Amen. 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 Because we are being persecuted yeah, yeah. as we speak. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I thank God that God allowed us to look at persecution in a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sometimes it's kind of strange that you can look at your problem and see the light in your problem. Uh -huh. But you got to understand no matter what you're going through in life, you got to see Jesus at the end of the time. Yeah, yeah. And I believe that they were marching down the streets. I believe they saw Jesus right. at the end right. of the tongue. Uh -huh. Jesus showed us three things in the text that we should understand when we're going through persecution. Yeah. First thing Jesus shows us here is that persecution gives us hope. Yeah, persecution gives us hope. We need hope today. We need hope. You understand? Back in the 50s and the 60s. And we need here vote uh, hope in 2019. Hope uh -huh. Hope is that driving force that keep us going when we really want to give up. Uh -huh. That force that's within us that said we ought to throw in the towel. You have to imagine that if, if, if Jesus had to throw in the towel before he went to Calvary. All right there, Rev. But we need that hope in order to get to where we need to be. Yeah. Jesus shows us here that we must have hope. Uh -huh. It was hope that Martin Luther King had when he gave his speech, I have a dream. Yeah, yeah. It was hope that Rosa Parks had when she refused to give up her seat. Yeah. Uh -huh. And hopes that one day that we as black men and black women will have some um, type of hope and some type of dignity in today's society. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That we should be treated as equal. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here Jesus began uh, he had been for knowledge because he looked down through the years uh -huh. and saw that we needed some hope. hope. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the first thing he shows us here is that that we ought to understand that persecution uh -huh, don't cause us to be defeated. Free. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah but I believe that's, that, 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 that's what, but what they wanted us to believe. All right, man. They wanted us to Feel defeated. Yeah. Jesus said, Blessed are they which are persecuted uh -huh. for, for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom, kingdom. of heaven. Uh -huh. First thing Jesus told us is that we are, are not defeated. Yeah. You ought to look at your neighbor and tell him we ain't defeated. We, we ain't defeated. defeated. We ain't yes. defeated. 
That's how they wanted us to feel. Yeah. As a black man in this society. All right. They wanted us to feel defeated. But Jesus did say that we were defeated. Uh-huh. He said, but no, we have some hope. The text said, bless. Mm -hmm. The Greek word, markarios. Yeah. That is to be happy. Other words, no matter what you're going through in life, you ought to be happy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You ought to have some type of joy. Yeah. No matter what the world might take me yes, to. Yes, sir. No yes, matter sir. what I might have to deal with. Yes, sir. I'm going to have my joy. Yeah. I believe the songwriter said, this joy that I have, uh -huh. the world didn't give it to me. All right. And the world cannot take it away. Yes, sir. Jesus said that we are blessed. Uh -huh. Yes, you understand that no matter what the world might do, yeah. well, no matter what your adversary might try to put you through, yeah. you got to understand and know that we are blessed. Yeah. Yeah. I believe right now our adversaries couldn't understand how we can have a smile on our face <laughs> when we whooping them and beating them. Uh -huh. But All we right, understand man. that we got a Jesus yeah. that said that we are blessed. Yes, sir. And whatever God says, it got to be done. Yeah. 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 And here that we are blessed. We are blessed even when they bomb our houses. Yeah. Even when they bomb our churches. We are blessed. Yes. Yeah. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Hope let us know that we are not defeated. Mm -hmm. But hope also, you understand, poured upon and on a diverse of people. Uh -huh. You understand? People of all races. Races. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, the text says, blessed are they which are persecuted. Yeah. The Greek word, diopnos, mm -hmm. that's to be hunted down like an animal. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I believe that's what they tried to do to us. All right, they were persecuted because we were hunted down like some animals. Yeah. yeah. You understand? They, 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 they did everything that they could do to us. They tried to kill our faith. Uh-huh. You understand? Being persecuted because of the color of my skin. Yeah. yeah. Being persecuted because my hair is natural. Yeah. yeah. Persecuted because our lips are full and our women hips are. You understand why they, they, they try yeah. to persecute oh. They can't stand. But Jesus let us know that we are blessed. Uh-huh. But if you look at the text, he said persecuted. But he said that we have some blessings coming out of here. They did everything that they could think of to us. They drugged us with cars. You understand? They hung us from trees. Yeah. They lynched us. Yeah. I know you don't really want to deal with it. Uh -huh. I know you really don't want to talk about it. All right, man. It's a kind of a touchy subject to think about. Yeah. Knowing what they did to our people. Uh -huh. But I come to realize that in order for us to move forward, in order for our new generation, our young generation, to understand where they can be. They yeah. need to understand where they came from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I believe that's what's wrong with the black society today. Mm -hmm. They really got high off the home. Yeah. That we can afford a steak or two now. <laughs> that we can live in an upstairs and downstairs house. Yeah, that's right there, I, I believe we will humble when we stay in the shotgun. House. Yeah. I believe we will humble when we stay in the shotgun. Yeah. Jesus Preach now. showed them Preach, All right, man. that they are blessed. Yeah. Amen. Said that his blessing is poured upon a diverse of people. Yeah. Young and old. Mm -hmm. Black and whomever. Mm -hmm. So everything he shows us that 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 that, that hope gives us uh, um, um, is, is given to a uh, um, a divinely group of people. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Bible said, Blessed are they which are persecuted yes. for righteousness' sake. Mm -hmm. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. It's a sad indictment for we as African Americans to suffer persecution from the hands of. Uh, prejudiced individual mm -hmm. because of righteousness sake. You understand? Righteousness means to be godly mm -hmm. and to do what is right 
towards God. They got mad at us. Not because we were trying to take something back. But because we were living for God and trying to do right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just trying to have an equal opportunity uh -huh. in life. Uh huh. You understand? They got mad because we were childs of God. Yeah. Because it said, for righteousness sake. Uh huh. You got to understand, folks going to hate you. Well. Just because you're trying to live for God. Yeah. You understand? Because you're trying to do what's right. Yes, sir. And they got upset. They got mad. They were pressured because we was living for the law. Yeah. You understand? They persecuted them. Yes. They persecuted us. You understand? Jesse Jackson had to go through some persecution. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King had to go through some persecution. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, we can bring it closer home. Your mama and your daddy, your grandma and your granddaddy had to go through yeah. some yeah. persecution. Yeah. Yeah. And they, 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 they had to deal with some things. There's some folks right here in our congregation had to deal with some persecution. Yes, I believe Sister Marbury and Sister Versa had to deal with some persecution. Yes, yes. Had to deal with the prejudice folks. Yeah. I believe Brother Adams, you understand? Sister Mac and my mom had to deal with some persecution. Yeah. You got to understand that you got a God that was on your side. Yeah. And that's the only way we was able to overcome. Yeah. Because we had a God on our side. Yeah. That's why they couldn't tell us that. That's why they couldn't beat us down. That's why they couldn't tie us down. Because we had God on our side. Jesus said, blessed are they that suffer persecution. Yeah. Yes. You have to understand that we shall overcome. You can't let the world tie us down. All right. But notice that he said, there is the kingdom of heaven. When I quoted the scriptures, I got the theirs mixed up. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if you quote it, the first thing you think of is theirs, as in theirs is. Uh -huh. But that's not what Jesus said. All right. Jesus said theirs, T-H-E-I-R-S. That means ownership. Ship. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what God was saying, every time you knock a child down, I'm giving him a piece of the kingdom. Yeah. Every time you scandalize his name, uh -huh. he get a piece of the kingdom. All right. And one of these old days, I'm going to call my child home. Yeah. And he's going to have a mansion that made with yeah. him. Yeah. So I don't mind that you're talking about. Yeah. All right, I don't man. mind that you're scandalizing me. Yeah. yeah. You can call me black. You can call me a monkey. But one of these old days, I'm going to call me hey. black. Yeah. I'm going to leave the way yeah. he had wrecked. They didn't understand that. They thought they were doing some tan us down. Yeah. But we got to understand, but theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kingdom belongs to you, Jones. Yes, sir. It belongs to you, William. Yeah. It belongs to you, Sister Wick. It belongs yeah. to everybody. Yeah. 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 Well, let yeah. me on hanging. Yeah. 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 I got a piece of the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Preach, Preach, Not man. only the persecution, understand, give us hope. Persecution brought humility. Yeah. yeah, I know you're saying to yourself how persecution brought about humility. Because we became humble to the point we never fought back. Yeah, yeah, we never fought back physically, but we fought back spiritually. Amen. Yeah, see, I learned now you, can, you, you can't fight the devil with your hands and guns. Yes, sir. Oh, it's man. Man. You have to put some Jesus on yes, the devil. Yes, 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 yes. I believe what Paul did. He said, we not wrestle with, with, with flesh and blood, but we wrestle with principalities. Yeah. Uh -huh. You understand that God got to fight your battle. Yeah. And that's what we realized when we were marching down the street. You understand? We didn't have guns, sticks, you understand, in our hands, but we had God on our side. Yeah. yeah. We had the Bible in our hands. Yeah. And we marched the streets asking, you understand, and demanding for fair play. Yeah. Here, Jesus let us know that it brings uh -huh. about uh -huh. humility. Mm -hmm. Jesus realized that some of his followers, 
you understand, will have to suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. He said here in verse number 11, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you. Falsely for my sake. Uh -huh. Revile. Revile means to attack verbally. All right. If they couldn't persecute us by hand. Yeah. They did everything, you understand, to persecute us by mouth. All right, man. They call us everything from coon. Yeah. You understand? Uh huh. To monkeys. Yeah. Jigaboo. Uh huh. Trying to kill our spirit. Yeah. You understand? But we never fought back with our hands because we had a sense of humility. Yeah. 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 And I think that 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 God. And I know that God was on our side. Right. Because Jesus suffered the same thing. Yes, sir. They called him a devil. Yeah. Called him everything but a child of God. Uh -huh. And Jesus never said a moment of word. All right, real. Because Jesus had a type of humility on his side. And I realized that folks don't say what they want to say about you. Mm -hmm. But it's what you live and how you live. Dictated what they call you. Call you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. can call me whatever you want to call me. Right, yeah. But I understand this. When God called me, and whatever God called me. Yeah. God didn't call me no mother. He called me a child of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have to answer the stuff like that. But understand that, that, that Jesus uh, had to show us that we should not fight back with our hands. You understand? But fight back with words. I think about some of the things that the black man had to suffer. I think about Emmett Till and how his mother had to suffer. Mm -hmm. Knowing that she had a child here in Chicago. You understand? Could have grew up to be a doctor or a lawyer. But yet went down to Mississippi uh -huh. and found him in the river. Yeah. That's kind of hard to swallow. Yeah. But we got to understand, we didn't fight back with guns, but we fought back with the word of God. Yeah. And if we're going to make it and overcome today, yes, Lord. we got to learn how to fight back with the word of God. Yeah. Told you I'm not going to hold you long. We already discussed that persecution Give us hope. Yeah. You got to understand that you're going to have some hope. Mm -hmm. No matter how much they persecute you. On your job. In society. At the church. Know that uh -huh. God will give you some hope. Yes sir. Persecution brought humility. You understand? And then we didn't fight back. You understand? With guns and knives. Uh -uh. But we fought back with the word of God. And one thing I know about the word of God, can no man, no weapon stand when you fight back with the word. Amen. But the last thing I need to show you, and that is hope lead us to heaven. Yes, hope in Christ Jesus will lead us to heaven. Why well, I say, preacher, well, how can hope lead us to heaven? Hope is just another thing in having faith. Mm -hmm. right. You understand? If you believe in God, mm -hmm. and you know that when God calls your name, one day you're going to be with him in heaven. Uh -huh. So hope is that that would lead us to heaven. Yes, persecution will lead you to heaven. In one of these old days, we won't have to study war no more. Uh -huh. We all going to fly away mm -hmm. and be at rest. Mm -hmm. Jesus, in verse number 12, told us to rejoice. Uh -huh. Yes, the word chaos. Yeah, stay with me. You understand? To be happy. 
You understand, no matter what we deal with, Jesus said, have a smile on your face. They can't understand why you're smiling all the time. Well, you should be drowning in your tears. Because my Jesus said, rejoice. And then he said, be exceedingly glad. Right. Uh -huh. The word that seemed to me be above, above, above your expectation. Uh -huh. All right. Other words, it got in and with ing, that means a continuation. Mm -hmm. If you happy and got joy on Monday, you ought to have joy on Tuesday morning. Amen, You understand, then tonight you ought to still have Amen. some joy. Amen. Why should I have some joy? Because Jesus said rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Right. Why? Because we got to understand that, that your reward is great in heaven. Mm -hmm. You got to understand they might persecute you down here on earth. All right, man. I ain't worried about what they do to me on earth, but I'm worried about what's going on in heaven. Amen. And I understand that if I get persecuted and going through things, Jesus said your reward. I, well, I want you to understand that God is standing with his hand wide open with your reward. All right. When God called your name, he's coming down with a reward in his hand. Yeah. 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 You understand? Sometimes you have to go and claim your reward, but God already got your reward when he come down here to pick you up. Yeah. Man. And carry you over to the other side. Yeah. And he said you ought to rejoice and be exceedingly glad because great is your reward in heaven. All right. For so persecuted they, the prophets who were there before them. Or the words what Jesus was saying. Jesus was saying, don't worry about what they were doing and what you got to deal with because they persecuted the prophets before you. You understand? They persecuted Abraham and Isaac. They persecuted, you understand, John and the four gospels. Uh -huh. I believe Paul got persecuted. Yeah. I believe somebody in here right now had to suffer some persecution. Yeah. All right, man. But Jesus said, don't worry about it because worry they persecuted about. the prophet. Yeah. But one other thing I want you to realize as I get ready to take my seat is that they persecuted my Jesus. Yeah. I believe it was one Friday evening. Yes, sir. You understand? They marched him from judgment hall to judgment hall. And they lied on my Jesus. Yeah. yeah. They scandalized his name. Yeah. Called him everything but a child of God. All yeah. right. You understand? One Friday evening, they hug him high and yeah. they stretched him wide. Yeah. Yes, sir. With nails in his hand and a nail in his feet. Yeah. They stabbed him in the side and put a crown of thorn on his head. Uh -huh. I believe Jesus was persecuted. Yes, now, sir. In fact, I know for a doubt that Jesus was persecuted. Yeah. yeah. But I understand that he overcame all his persecution. Uh -huh. Because the ones that persecuted realized that Sunday morning he got up with all power. Yeah. In heaven and earth in his hand. Yeah. So I want you to know no matter what we had to deal with in the past and what we got to deal with in the future, we got a Jesus that's on our side. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know that Jesus is on your side. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he didn't never leave you nor forsake. Uh-huh. You ought to thank God right now that Jesus was on our side. Yeah. yeah. And he bought the streets of Burnham and people yeah. standing right there. All right. And they put the fire hose on it and sick dogs all on Jesus was standing right there. Yeah. You yeah. have to understand no matter what we go through in life, mm -hmm. Jesus is standing right there. Yeah. Amen. Christmas yes, and I yes, we shall yes, overcome. Yeah. yeah. Folks gonna talk about you. Yeah. They gonna scandalize your name. Yeah. yeah. They're going to call you everything but a child of God. Uh-huh. They understand they're doing it right now. Yeah. You understand? Since we got who we got in the White House, all those that used to be present were hiding in the closet, they found the courage to come on out. Yeah. But understand this, while you coming out the closet, my, my God was already out. Yes, and he was yeah. He waiting for you. Yeah. With, 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 with fighting power. Yeah. Understand this. We had to deal with some back in the fences and sisters. Dealing with it right now. But understand that we got a God that will fight our battle. Yeah. 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 Remember when Moses got ready to cross the Red Sea. Uh -huh. God told Moses, stand still. Still, yes, sir. And watch the power of God. Uh -huh. That's what God telling us now. Don't worry about what they said in the White House. Don't worry about what the man Birmingham might say. All right. Understand this, stand still and watch God work. Yeah. That's all we got to do is to stand still. 
and to watch God work. He worked for us in the 50s and the 60s. What makes you think he can't all right, work for us? Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to learn how to trust in him. And he'll lead us all the way. Doors of the church are open right now by water, by tears, by Christian spirit, all by others. We ask that you come.